Hello, this is Justin Short doing a presentation on liquid crystal displays. LCDs are the most common form of display used in devices like calculators, HDTVs, clocks, watches, even aviator cockpit displays. They are this widespread because they are very thin, they can be cheap to produce, and they are the most energy efficient form of display. Now, even though they are this widespread, most people have no idea how they actually work. LCDs are basically just six layers that affect the light that passes through them in order to make an image using electricity. The first layer is a polarizing filter. The second layer is glass with transparent electrodes embedded in it. The third layer is the liquid crystal layer. The fourth layer is another layer with glass embedded with transparent electrodes. The fifth layer is a polarizing filter that is perpendicular to the first filter. And the sixth layer is either a reflector or a backlight. The way they work is for a reflector LCD is light from the outside comes in through the polarizing filter which absorbs all the light waves except those parallel with the slits in the filter. These vertical waves pass through that filter through the second into the third and get bent by the liquid crystals to become and bent and twisted to become horizontal light waves which can pass through this filter onto the reflector which bounces the light right back to get bent here to pass through this filter into your eyes. Backlit LCDs the light comes from here into this filter becomes horizontal it's twisted until it's vertical through this filter into your eyes. The way they work is the electrodes here can be charged with electricity causing an electric field to form in the liquid crystals, making them untwist and orientate themselves completely straight so that they don't affect light whatsoever. So light coming in vertical would remain vertical passing through these crystals and be absorbed here. Light coming from here being horizontal would remain horizontal and be absorbed by this. Where you see no light, there's black. So when the light gets absorbed, you would see a black area. What well, I described are passive matrix LCDs which can either use separate electrodes like these seven segment pieces used in like watches and clocks or they can also be a grid of columns of electrodes and rows of electrodes which can be used by the display to create a grid of pixels that can be individually charged to create a black pixel. These LCDs tend to be monochrome and can be either unlit like this or backlit with some sort of light. Active matrix LCDs are very similar, but each pixel, using the grid of columns rows, has its own transistor. Transistors are basically just switches that use electricity to be switched on and off. These switches allow each pixel to be more accurately switched on and off by the display and allow the pixels to remain in their state through each refresh cycle. These transistors allow the uh, LCD to create a much brighter and sharper image, but they almost always are backlit and they are needed to create color displays. The way color displays work for LCDs is that for each pixel created by the grids of uh, columns and rows of electrodes has three sub-pixels in each pixel with a red filter, a green filter, and a blue filter. Using the transistors for each pixel, the display can control how much power is sent there and how much, power and how much light passes through the red, green, and blue uh, sub-pixel filters. This combination of colors can create any color and any shade that the display needs to display. The LCDs create lighting either with a reflector, which takes the ambient light outside and reflects it back into your eyes, which is powerless, making, making them very uh, efficient with energy, even to be operated with batteries like in watches and calculators but it's completely useless in low light because there's not enough ambient light outside to go through all the layers, bounce back and into your eyes and still be able to be seen. 
uh, the first backlit layer, the first backlit option, which has been used uh, extensively in the past, is the cold cathode fluorescent light array. They have a very good color gamut because they are an even white spectrum, but they have very, very low power efficiency and they tend to get uh, kind of hot. White LEDs are currently the most common the used form of backlighting because they are cheap, they have great energy efficiency. Unfortunately, although they are white, they have very uneven spectrum, so they have a uh, less uh, less quality for their uh, color gamut. Another option is the Regan, the RGB LED, which can create different colors with the use of a red, green, and blue diode inside of the LED. These are fairly efficient, have an even better color gamut than the uh, CCFL array, but they are extremely expensive. Expensive. Even small displays can be up to like a thousand dollars. And that is the end of the presentation.